What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 times Randy Orton shockingly went off script in WWE by WrestleMania. Randy Orton's one of the few individuals in WWE. He's kind of, I guess you could say, earned that privilege where he can go off script. He can say certain things that other uh, superstars cannot say because they don't have that, that track record with the people in the back. He can get away with a lot of stuff. He's one of those superstars and they may say something to him in the back they may not he, he's that guy randy orton is him so we're gonna check out some of these moments where he just went off script said fuck it <laughs> should be a good one appreciate all the love and support man let's get right into this one since debuting on the wwe main roster in 2002 randy orton has been one of the top guys in the company when orton joined the popular evolution stable in 2003 it was clear that wwe had a clear vision for orton's success and it's certain that he's overachieved when it comes to WWE's expectations and he is truly a WWE legend. Oh, for sure. Over the past decade, Orton has emerged as someone WWE can count on and so can fellow wrestlers as he's pretty much considered the locker room leader in WWE. One of the most underappreciated things about the Viper is how he's always willing to give back and put talent over mm -hmm. and Orton rarely takes issue with anything he's scripted to do. However, there are 10 distinct occasions where the former WWE champion has decided <laughs> to deviate away from the script like and create that. a moment that fans will never forget. Joanna Styles WrestleMania looks at 10 times where Randy Orton shockingly went off script in WWE. Should be a good one, man. Wishing Randy Orton a speedy recovery. Hopefully he's good. Can't wait for him to come back. Be sure to subscribe yeah. and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Cursing. Mm. The SmackDown 1000 featured a true treat for fans as WWE booked a reunion of popular stable Evolution. During this segment, Batista made a comment informing Ric Flair to keep that thing in his pants. And all the <laughs> members of the group lost it, including Orton. Triple H could then be seen whispering something in Orton's ear, which Orton responded by visibly saying a curse word. <laughs> this wasn't remotely scripted, and WWE were forced to heavily edit the segment on their official YouTube upload yeah. of the Evolution reunion. Number 9. Split Jump It wasn't like it was picked up. I mean, I guess someone can obviously read, read his lips of what he's saying, but uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but hey, I don't run WWE. This one, though, this was funny. I don't... <laughs> He just randomly did that shit out of nowhere, bro. <laughs> but 2011 was a tremendous year for Randy Orton. Orton engaged in an extended feud with Christian, and this highlighted Orton's yeah. in-ring work so much so Jesus. that Orton has labeled the feud with Christian as one of his all-time favorite rivalries. For sure. During this time, it was evident that Orton was truly happy with what he was bringing to the table, and this was on full display on an episode of SmackDown on the road to 2011's Over the Limit pay-per-view event and Charles Robinson couldn't oh, yeah, believe they... what they were seeing. It was a hilarious moment <laughs> and it was great to see Orton let loose. Number 8, Live TV. He probably had to cut it for, for whatever reason, but it's the... They just... What you doing, Randy? <laughs> TV is awesome. Speaking of Randy Orton in 2011, during the All-Star Raw episode, Orton's mic malfunctioned during a promo segment and Orton handled this with a hilariously unscripted remark. As I was saying... Live TV is awesome. Orton declared as the live <laughs> crowd cheered on. It's difficult for wrestlers to know what to do when something of this nature happens. Some wrestlers would just continue their promo, but Orton addressing it was a smart move. As Orton was right, it was live TV and anything can happen at any time. I mean, that's what this off-script comment was later edited out of the really? WWE Network version of that particular episode of Raw, but thankfully, YouTube footage of the original broadcast exists. Why? Why would they cut that? I don't know, man. I feel like WWE, they, they micromanage a lot, especially like stuff like this. Like, I, I wouldn't have cut that. That makes it even more endearing when you, you hear that or see that. Like, you know, something happened live. That's what makes it live television. And for him to kind of just, you know, have that little endearing remark. I don't, once again, I don't run WWE, so it is what it is, but still. Dist. Number seven, blowing a kiss. And the Raw following Extreme Rules 2015 opened up with a promo segment between Seth Rollins, Randy Orton and Roman Reigns. During the segment, Reigns would stand on the announce table and as he was delivering his promo, Orton randomly went off script and blew a kiss. 
Some fans believe that Orton was blowing a kiss directly to Reigns, which would be kind of strange. While yeah. Some fans stated that Orton's wife was in the front row, so the kiss was intended for her. Huh? Number six, can't keep a Who straight knows? face. <laughs> R-Truth has a reputation for being one of the funniest wrestlers in the locker room. This nigga punched himself, bro. <laughs> that's, that's why R-Truth is a national treasure, bro. He said, wait, I got you, big show. <laughs> Truth has made a number of wrestlers break character and he even <laughs> he made Brock Lesnar. Big Show had to fucking laugh, bro. He the Big Show. <laughs> he had to laugh. Uh, and getting Brock to laugh is funny too, bro. Almost fall to the floor with laughter during a memorable Raw segment. <laughs> Truth almost made Van Orton break character during He's a backstage so segment on Raw in 2020. Oh Orton God. was backstage with his former mentor, Ric Flair, and this is when Orton and Flair were interrupted by Truth. Truth believed that Flair was actually Akira Tozawa. Flair instantly smirked, but Orton was forced to go off script and put his hand over his face as he clearly couldn't stop laughing. It was a brilliant moment that highlighted how Truth can make anyone on the roster laugh. Truth is good. Number bro. five, are we off the air? In 2014, a clip of Randy Orton went viral. <laughs> Following an episode of Raw in the summer of 2014, a video surfaced of Orton asking a production member of Raw if he yep. was off the air. Once the production team member informed Orton that WWE were indeed off the air, Orton <laughs> stopped selling and casually began to stroll to the back. It was hilarious <laughs> to see. I remember seeing that clip. We good? All right. <clears throat> uh. We get up out of here. It's incredibly lucky that the ringside fan captured the iconic moment on camera. Number four, forgetting lines. The Raw after WrestleMania featured notoriously the hottest crowd of the year. Mm -hmm. The crowd is usually made up of the most diehard wrestling fans, so they're prone to take over the show in any manner they see fit. The Raw after WrestleMania 29 was a newsworthy one, as the crowd were electric, and there were notably boot baby faces such as John Cena, Sheamus, and Randy Orton. Speaking of Orton, he was involved in a promo segment on the show with Sheamus. Both of them teamed with Big Show the night prior at WrestleMania 29, but Big Show had turned on both men. No surprise, so yeah. they wanted revenge. The context of this promo was that both wanted to face the Big Show on Raw, but, but Orton got completely lost and forgot his lines. This forced Orton to go off script and audibly asked Sheamus, It was a little awkward as it was rare for Orton to forget his lines, but it looked like the hostile crowd had thrown him off guard. WWE weren't impressed with Orton going off script to ask for his lines, so they decided to heavily edit the promo segment uh... on the WWE Network, so footage of the promo slip-up only exists thanks to original YouTube uploads of the- Yeah, I can see them micromanaging that. I get that, but still. <laughs> the infamous segment. I can see them putting that out. Eating a hot dog. By October 2014, Randy Orton was in such a strong position in WWE that he could go off script virtually every week and never be punished. Facts. However, most of the times Orton deviating away from the script was to enhance the segment, and this was most definitely the case on the October 6, 2014 edition of Raw. Orton was teaming with Kane and Seth Rollins to take on John Cena in a handicap match when suddenly Dean Ambrose brought yeah, a hot dog cart to the this. ring. Following some commotion involving the hot dog cart, Orton could be seen selling at ringside, but Orton wasn't just selling, he was legitimately eating a hot dog. <laughs> this was an unbelievable moment, and it was captured on live TV for the entire world to witness. <laughs> Number 9, <laughs> Flipping Off the Fans. The Night of Champions 2012 featured a stacked card and a red-hot Boston crowd. Randy Orton at this particular pay-per-view would collide with Dolph Ziggler. The two would have a great matchup, but the crowd were heckling Orton throughout the match. Eventually, this got too much for Orton, and he proceeded to flip the ringside fans <laughs> off in a quick gesture. But even though the gesture was on screen for less than a second, WWE yep, was PG by the year 2012. So Who remembers when Randy Orton flipped off Seth Rollins? Oh, that was so good. When he was teasing, like, yeah, you know, no hard feelings after Seth had pretty much, like, <laughs> ridden him off TV for a little bit or, you know, had storyline injured him or whatnot and he came back and he's like oh everything's good everything's great and i think they had a i think it was like a tag team match uh on monday night raw and seth rollins was going to go for the tag but randy stepped back or whatnot <laughs> and the crowd started going crazy and seth's like what are you doing come on bro tag tag 
Come on, tag me, bro. So you get in. And he put up the both the middle fingers. The camera caught it, but then the camera adjusted it or whatnot. But you knew he put up both the middle fingers. And all oh, that beat down was so good. Oh my God, that was so good, bro. <laughs> Who remembers? Great times. <laughs> Going off script in this controversial way wasn't welcomed by WWE. Orton would be forced to apologize via Twitter following the incident in a tweet which read, Had a blast tonight. Great crowd in Boston. Sorry if I offended anybody with that oh, inappropriate wow. gesture. And number one, laying into Kofi Kingston. And when fans are asked about what is uh -huh. the most infamous moment of Randy Orton's Stupid. career, the Stupid. common answer would be probably be the time he laid into Kofi Kingston on Raw in 2010. Mm -hmm. By late 2009, fans were sick and tired of seeing the same old wrestlers pushed into the main event scene, so WWE needed to push fresh blood. One of the talents WWE decided to push was Kofi Kingston. Kingston was an amazing athlete and was having solid matches on TV. He would enter into a feud with Orton and even pin Orton clean. Mm -hmm. This push was intended to lead Kingston winning the Money in the Bank briefcase at WrestleMania 26. That's crazy. But one triple threat match with Orton and John Cena changed everything. The finish of the aforementioned match went completely wrong. Kingston was supposed to be pinned following a punk kick. However, Kingston got up early, meaning that Orton had to go off script and use an RKO. Mm -hmm. He then went on an unscripted tirade of Kingston, calling yeah. him stupid several times. Yep. This led to WWE cancelling Kingston's push, and his Money in the Bank victory That's would have been awarded crazy, to Jack Swagger. This unscripted bro. incident would later be used for a feud between the two in 2019, during the time when Kingston had finally reached the top of WWE Which and was the reigning WWE champion. That they have should have been much better. I, I, shocking. It, it did not hit, because I was looking forward to that. I was like, okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna blur the lines of what's real and what's not. They're, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna take us back down memory lane. Kofi now is the champ. Randy wants the championship. We know their their history and what happened in the past. It didn't it didn't land, and I think. The reason why, it, for me, it didn't land or it didn't live up to what it should have been is Kofi was still this good goody two shoes, eat my pancakes with the new day and and all this other stuff. He still had that that gimmick about him, and it's like that's it's nothing wrong at times, but this is the guy that essentially was the reason why you didn't become WWE champion years ago. This guy is trying to take this from you. This guy's trying to make it personal again. This guy's being very disrespectful. And you, I don't know, it just came off like the power of positivity. That's cool to preach to the kids, but sometimes you got to let the kids know that there's going to be some people out there that don't care about that. And you're going to have to fight fire with fire sometimes to, to let, you know, to stand up for yourself. So that was my only thing. I, I just wish... Kofi was a little bit more serious in his title run and definitely more serious in this feud with Randy Orton. That's my opinion. That's just my little little tidbit about that. But this was a great video. Randy Orton, like I said, it's Randy Orton, the GOAT. He can say and do whatever he wants because he's Randy fucking Orton. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite Randy Orton moment, promo segment. Let me know down below, man. But I appreciate all the love and support. Got shown on channel Road 250K. And I'm still getting the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.